Hey everyone, this is Ryan from Odds Pony, and today I'm going to show you how to use the value betting feature on oddspony.com. Uh, now I've already made a video sort of going into what value betting is. Uh, the example I use there is with a coin toss. Uh, it's a bit more easy to, well, it's a bit easier to understand. Um, so if you don't quite understand value betting, I definitely recommend checking that one out. I'll link that one in the description. Uh, but we're going to dive a little bit more in uh, with this video here uh, using um, oddspony.com. So the first thing we need to do is validate our access key. And we're gonna choose the value bets betting tool, uh, the market head to head or money uh, money line. Uh, hopefully we'll uh, support some more markets in the future. We're gonna go all sports, we're gonna look in Australia cause that's where I am and we'll see what we can find. So it does take a little bit longer this search just because it has to go over to uh, the EU and check the, the pinnacle odds and it's also uh, checking the bookmakers from Australia. That shouldn't be too long. Cool. All right, so we've got quite a few results that have come back. Uh, it is sorted, uh, so you've got the highest ones at the top. Um, but yeah, let's have a look at this one here. So it's a college football game, Southern Mississippi Golden Eagles versus Florida International Panthers. Uh, it's coming up pretty soon, November 28, 2021. Uh, and it's saying that the expected value is 12.82%. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to jump into this, uh, dive in a little bit deeper and see how uh, all of this is figured out. So we'll start with the pinnacle odds here. What I might do... Oh, actually, I might... SMGE, SMGE and FIP, Florida. And what have we got? We've got $1.20 and 4 65 So 120 and 4 65 Cool. Uh, so the reason we uh, look at Pinnacle first is because they are the sharpest bookmaker in the world. Um, and we're looking to figure out the fair odds of this game here. Uh, Pinnacle uh, is said to have the odds closest to the actual probability. Uh, they take the lowest margins um, and they it's just said that they've got the, the most accurate odds. So that's why we're looking at Pinnacle. Um, so first thing we need to do is work out the probability of this game here. So uh, we just go one divided by this one here and one divided by this one here. Uh, so Pinnacle is essentially saying that there's an 83.33% chance of this team winning and a 21.51% uh, chance of this team winning, and that's reflected in their odds. So if we add up these two probabilities, it does come to 104.84%, which is not quite right, obviously, because um, basic probability says that all the events have to add up to 1% or 100%. So this 4.84% is the, uh, they refer to it as the VIG or the margin. And that's that's how Pinnacle makes its money. Um, so using this, we do want to work out the fair odds, but first we have to uh, work out the fair probability. Um, so the way we do that, we just take that one, divide it by this one. And we take that one, divide it by this one here. So it's coming out that, actually I'll copy that one, coming out that um, the actual probability for this match here is 79.5% uh, for this team to win and 20.5% for this team to win. So if we do add those two together, it comes to 100%. So um, that makes sense. And from the probability, we can work out the fair odds. So it's just one divided by this one here and one divided by oops, this one here. Cool. Um, yeah, so if we can find odds better than 126 and 4.88, that means we do have a value bet. And that's what uh, Odds Pony has found. It has found that sports bet is already um, is offering $5.50 for Florida International Panthers to win. So we'll add that one, what was it, 5.5. And that is on sports bet for Florida National Panthers. Uh, and just quickly, so 126 and 4.88, 
that'll be reflected here under the fair odds. So 1.26 and 4.88. And once we've got uh, the fair odds and we know um, that we've got a value bit, we can work out the uh, expected value. So uh, we'll just do this one. We're just getting the difference between these two. And then we'll just divide it by the fair odds. We're just getting the percentage difference from that one. Cool, and it comes out to 12.82%, which is this one here. So this, this is what's going on uh, under the hood and odds pony is just you know, scanning thousands of points of data uh, to try to find these. Um, cool, so yeah, so uh, that, that's a value bet, 12.82%, uh, so the expected value is that back. Um, now, if you put money on sports bet for Florida International Panthers, obviously it's not guaranteed to win. Uh, Southern Mississippi Golden Eagles are the favourites for this game, but um, because this is positive EV, if you continually put on value bets or bets with positive EV, um, then just the laws of probability say that uh, you will make money um, because instead of the, uh, the bookmaker making a margin, you're sort of making that margin or that fig over time. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go through a quick example with a draw involved. It's very, very similar, but if you do kind of understand that concept, you can probably stop watching now. But let's go down to one with a draw. So uh, I'm going to try to find one where I can actually pronounce it. All these French leagues. Uh, okay, cool. The A League. Uh, it's Australian League. Uh, so Western Sydney Wanderers versus Newcastle Jets, and uh, the pinnacle odds are two hundred two, three seven seven. So jump over here. So two hundred two, three seven seven for the draw, and three seventy three. 373. Ah. Cool. Just format that up. And I won't enter the names of the uh, the teams here. Uh, so again, one divided by this one here. I'll just drag that over. So it's coming out as these percentages for um, these three teams to win. I'll get the total probability plus that one. So 102.84%. So the fig on this one's really quite uh, small, the uh, the margin that Pinnacle's taking. So very close to the fair odds, but not quite. Uh, so very, very similar. We're just going to divide that one by that one. We're going to go that, not one. We're going to divide that by that. And we're going to divide that one by that one. And with that, we're going to get our fair odds. Divide by that one equals one divided by that one. So the fair odds for this game are uh, two dollars eight for Western Sydney Wanderers, uh, three dollars eighty eight for the draw, and three eighty four for uh, Newcastle Jets. So again, if we can find odds over these numbers here, we do have a value bet. Get rid of this one here and. Oddspony.com has found that on sports bet Newcastle Jets is for four dollars. Um, Newcastle Jets, it is four dollars. So let's work out the expected value for this one. It's going to be that. Take that. And oops, bear with me here divided by that one. Cool, so we get a 4.28% um, expected value and that should be reflected here. Sorry, not a 2.48, a 4.82% um, expected value. So that is a value bet. So again, um, the Newcastle Jets aren't the favorite for this one. You can easily lose this one, but over time, if you're placing a lot of value bets, uh, loss probability say that you should, um, or you will, uh, win money or be better off over time. So hopefully that makes sense and thanks for watching.